Hey guys, welcome back to Meal Prep Monday. Today I am making one pan Italian sausage and veggies. So in case you didn't know, I'm Kristen. I'm sister number two from Six Sister Stuff. And I love sharing with you my meal preps and what I do. So every Monday, that's what you'll be getting so you can eat a little bit healthier. Now before I get started, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and push that little bell so you can get all of our notifications on YouTube. Now this one pan Italian sausage and veggies is one of my most favorites because it's one pan. You put it all together and you are done. There's not a ton of dishes, not a ton of work involved, and it's healthy. So this recipe is about 400 calories per serving. And in the description below, I'll tell you all the nutrition facts about it. But for now, let's get going and I'll show you how I make this one pan Italian sausage and veggies bake. So the first thing to do with this recipe is you're gonna chop up all of your vegetables. So right now I'm just getting them out. I have a red pepper, a few potatoes, a bag of carrots, and this is the sweet Italian turkey sausage. I like it lean so it's not as much fat. One head of broccoli, and yeah, I think that's it. Okay, let's get chopping. Okay, so first I'm gonna start with my potatoes. These are red potatoes, and I got three of them. I'm just gonna chop them up, and I left the skins on because I actually really like the skins. Next, I'm gonna chop up the head of broccoli. Now, I don't really like big chunks of broccoli, so I'm gonna chop them up a little bit smaller. All right, next I have my carrots. So I used a bag of carrots, but if you don't wanna use a bag, you can peel three normal-sized carrots and chop those up. Um, I like to chop my little carrots in half, so I'm not having a huge bite of carrot. Next is the red pepper. I kinda just cut the sides off, and then I'm just gonna chop them all into small little pieces. So next I'm gonna chop up my Italian sausage. Now notice how I did all the vegetables first so there wasn't any raw meat touching any of the vegetables. Not that it matters, it will all be cooked, but it's just how I like to do things. Now I usually like to do a little bit smaller pieces just so my kids don't choke or anything like that, but because it's just me going to eat this, I can do a little bit bigger pieces. Okay, now I'm gonna set the meat aside for a little bit and focus mostly on the vegetables. All right, so you're gonna do four tablespoons of olive oil. Now I have a half tablespoon that I'm using because all the other ingredients are half tablespoon and I didn't want to dirty anything else. So, huh, four tablespoons. Next, you're gonna take a half a tablespoon of basil. Um, you can use fresh basil or you can use dried basil. It doesn't matter. Next is oregano leaves. Again, you're gonna use a half a tablespoon of oregano leaves. Then next, you're gonna add a half tablespoon of garlic salt. If you don't like garlic salt, go ahead and use normal salt, but I love garlic salt. Then just a pinch of pepper, just to taste. Then mix it all together so all the olive oil on the bottom is combined with the spices. And of course the goal is to cover all the vegetables with all of the spices and oil too. All right, now we're gonna set those to the side and we're gonna bring our cookie sheet. I'm lining it with foil so cleanup is going to be so easy. Then you're just going to dump your vegetables onto the cookie sheet. Then I'm going to add my sausage in, kind of spread it around a little bit. I don't like it all together in one clump, it just doesn't cook as well. So spread it around across your vegetables. When you're done putting your meat on, you're going to bake it at 400 degrees for 15 minutes. Once the timer goes off, pull it out, mix it around with your spatula the best you can, stick it back in the oven for another 20 minutes to finish cooking. So while my veggies and sausage are cooking, that's when I like to get my bowls all ready, because if I don't get them out now, then it sometimes doesn't happen. All right, once your stuff's done, let it cool for a few minutes before putting it into your containers. Then I just split my servings into four. So about a fourth will go into each one. Now if you want to stretch this recipe a little more, you could easily add some rice and it would make six servings instead of four. But I'm not the biggest fan of rice, so I'm just going to use just the meat and vegetables in my lunches. Well I hope that at first you weren't intimidated because 
If you watched this, you saw how easy it was to make this one pan Italian sausage veggie bake. It is easy. So now I'm just going to put my lids on, then I'm going to stack them on top of each other and put them in the refrigerator. So I have a healthy lunch for the rest of the week. Now if you're looking for other ways to eat healthy, be sure to check out our healthy menu plan. So every week you'll get an email with six healthy recipes, two healthy side dishes, and a healthy dessert. And if you use the code FACEBOOK20, that's all capitalization, FACEBOOK20, you'll get 20% off your whole entire order. All right, guys, thank you for stopping by on this Meal Prep Monday. Don't forget, subscribe to our channel. All right, see you later.